everybody, welcome back to another Craft Break Live. My name is Emma Panuski. I'm a content creator here at Vlad, and today I'm going to walk you through how to make this really cute spell jar inspired sign for Halloween. So while we're doing that, I'm also going to give you guys some really fun inspiration of other fall and Halloween themed signs that you can make for your festivities that are just around the corner using some of our brand new surfaces here at Plaid. So um, today we're going to be using Apple Barrel acrylic paint with our mason jar. Um, super duper cute and really, really easy to do. I'm going to walk you guys through the basic steps on how to get started with a sign like this. Um, and what, the great thing about this demo too is that once you have those basic techniques, then you can make so many different projects using uh, acrylic paint and our really, really wonderful wooden signs. But before we get into that, I wanted to give you guys some inspiration of some other fall signs that you could make this year. So I love this one. This is a really cute beaded oval plaque that we just released this year. And by the way, you can find all of these surfaces on platonline.com under the surfaces page. So what we did is we used some folk art paint and we painted the beaded, uh, the beaded uh, circle around the oval. This is one of our surfaces too, this little laser cut family. We stained this with just regular folk art acrylic paint and water. And then we Mod Podge some really beautiful fall papers onto this little sign. It's super quick to do, so easy, really affordable, and it makes such a beautiful sign to decorate your home with this fall. Love that one. This is a little bit more youthful using two of our plaid surfaces. What we did is we used Apple Barrel acrylic paint. We ombre this uh, circle uh, plaque we ombre it up to the top so that it was kind of reminiscent of a candy corn. We have some really great brand new MDF letters that we just released this year. So we painted one of those black. And then these are actually some decals that you could find um, if you look up Mod Podge Downloadable Library. We have a lot of really great decals and patterns and little quotes and whatnot for you to download totally for free to use in all of your Mod Podge projects. So super, super simple. Uh, this would be such a fun activity to do for like a fall festival or for a girl's night if you're crafting for fall and Halloween to um, buy a couple of these surfaces bring out the folk art paint or the apple barrel paint and the Mod Podge and you have a perfect crafting night. So love that one. This is our 12 by 12 wood plaque and this might be my one of my favorite surfaces just because it is so so versatile. Um, we actually use these surfaces a lot for our Let's Paint program. So this is actually a beautiful painting that Jesse Jennings did for our Let's Paint Live. Um, obviously in the fall, really beautiful floral arrangement inside that sweet little pumpkin. We embellished it with actually um, some brand new Folk Art Sugar Metallics paint. Um, so you can see that beautiful shine and texture that the Sugar Metallic leaves. But um, it's really great to pick up one of these plaid surfaces and then join us for one of our Let's Paint Lives. So, at, you know, a reminder for that, we go live every Monday here on Facebook and YouTube, uh, 7.30 p.m. And we teach you how to paint a painting in just about an hour. And, uh, you know, you can pick up all of your supplies at plaidonline.com and even the surface, now that you know. We have really great 12 by 12 uh, panels and also 10 by 10s and what I love so much about this surface is that it's almost kind of reversible so you can use it like this as a canvas or you can flip it around and use the back of it in kind of like a framed piece so you can um, paint whatever you want in the inside and then treat this as the frame of your work of art so Really beautiful. I just thought I'd pull this one to show you guys because this surface is one of my favorites. It's so versatile. And then lastly, I saved the best for last. 
um, we have this brand new wooden tag sign that we released this year. Um, so we made this super cute sign with it. What we did is we actually stained the wood with our folk art acrylic paint. We mixed that with a little bit of water and used it just like you would a traditional stain. Um, that's one of my favorite techniques. And it really just shows off the quality of the wood itself that you're gonna get um, when you order one of these surfaces to your home. So we stained it and then we went ahead and painted on some really cute letters to spell out Hello Pumpkin. But that's not all, you guys. You turn it over and you have a super cute Halloween sign. So whichever one you're feeling that day, whether it be a little bit more fall or a little bit more spooky, so, so cute. I love this idea. And you can do that with so many of our surfaces, treat them as reversible. Um, that's one of the great things about this tag sign and a lot of our other surfaces that you can find on platonline.com. So I hope that was inspiring to you all. Before we get into our demo today, I just wanted to show you guys um, some of our raw surfaces so you can just see the beautiful material that you'll receive. So this is another beaded plaque, this really beautiful wood, and of course the wooded beads. Um, it's beveled here so that you get that faux framed look, which I love personally, and it's just really, really great quality. So that's one. Here I showed you our smaller um, beaded oval surface, but here is a much bigger beaded circle surface. Um, again, a really fantastic surface to work with for fall, for Halloween, um, even for Christmas, for all your winter holidays, a really versatile surface. And it's so modern, especially with the beaded edge. I just love that. And then lastly, since I really um, talked a big game about that reversible sign, this is our raw tag surface. So you can just see the wood is so beautiful. It takes the paint and the Mod Podge so well. You don't have to do any prep to it. It is ready to be crafted with. So wonderful. Okay, so now that I've given you guys plenty of inspiration, I'll walk you through just how I did my spell jar. So you can see, this is a really cute brand new surface that Plaid released. It's a um, oversized mason jar. Of course, it's made out of wood. And there's just so many different things that you can do with this. It's great for summer. Um, you can make some really cute, like, you know, iced tea, uh, Arnold Palmer style signs with this. Um, we've crafted this with lightning bugs, like lightning bugs in a jar. So, so cute. You can, this would be great for Christmas if you crafted this like a little um, like a jar of hot cocoa or a little gift that you're giving somebody. So many different um, options for this guy. But today we're going to turn him into a spooky spell jar. So I used apple barrel acrylic paint to get started with this. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to start sketching out all of my shapes here. So starting about a half inch from the edge of our mason jar, I'm just going to follow the edge till we get something like that. And I'm actually gonna take a piece, or just a regular old piece of printer paper to use as my template for my sign. Sometimes the best pattern is just, you know, what you have to work with. And in this case, uh, printer paper works really well. If you don't um, have easy access to a ruler or you don't wanna print a pattern, I um, am always reaching for just that scrap piece of printer paper. So what we're gonna do is you see how we kind of have this beveled edge here. So we're just gonna recreate that with my scissors. Just a little swoop going up. Try to mirror that on the bottom here. So, so simple. And now with this, kind of line them up in the middle and we're going to trace it.
like that. How cute. All right, so now you see in our bat's breath, we have quite a bit of bubbles. So I'm just gonna loosely draw some circles, circle here, circle there. Um, just to kind of give some a uh, lot of interest into our finished project, I'm making the bubbles all different sizes. We even have some bubbles that are coming out of the liquid. So just like that. And now we're gonna create the top part of our liquid. So this kind of curvy part here. So we're swooping down, swooping down, and then we have a little bit of detail showing the top of our concoction. So I'm just gonna draw that as well. And you can see how, just how simple that is. I mean, once you have um, a really great surface like this one, there are so many different possibilities um, for the things that you can craft with it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just start painting. So I am working with apple barrel acrylic. So I love this color. It's a really vibrant light green. This is lime tree. So cute. I have my three quarter inch flat brush and I'm just gonna fill in getting right up to that edge here. And you can see just how beautifully the apple barrel acrylic paints onto this wood surface like we talked about a little while ago. Um, really the best thing about these new wood surfaces is that they are so incredibly easy to work with. There's no prep work involved. You really just start painting right onto your surface. You don't need to sand it. You don't need to prime it. Um, so easy to work with and you see just how beautifully that paint is just gliding on there and you can see how it takes the paint and just how opaque that color of apple barrel is on our wood surface here. Emma, we've got Susan in the chat and she was asking about sugar metallic. She'd never heard of that before. Oh yeah, so I wish I had a bottle here to show you guys, but um, I'll take my painting back out again. So we released Sugar Metallics um, new as well this year. It's under our folk art brand. So it's a really beautiful, lustrous metallic paint that is actually textured. So it has um, beautiful metallic particles inside of the paint so that once it's dry, you can kind of see in right here um, on my petals here, you can see that all those different particles catch the light and it leaves you with a really beautiful, lustrous, textured look. And you can find that at Michael's right now. Yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you guys get the picture of this, I'm pretty sure. Um, you're all very talented at home. So I am gonna move on to my next step. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna paint all of that space with our lime tree. Um, and all those out, outside bubbles, all that good stuff. And um, I'm gonna show you guys. So I talked about we used apple barrel acrylic with our sign here, but I also used a little bit of treasure gold to accent my jar. A little cloth here to help me open the bottle. My hands are wet. There we go. All right, so this is our Folk Art Treasure Gold. Um, and what I always say about this paint, because it's true, Treasure Gold is the most metallic paint or non-toxic water-based paint on the market. You really are left with a true mirror-like sheen in all of your painted projects. Um, it is so, so beautiful. Um, I remember when we first released Sugar Metallic, and we painted larger pieces with it, it was like you were looking in a mirror. That is how metallic it is. And like we said, it is non-toxic 
water-based, which is a little bit harder to find in a really, really metallic paint. Um, sometimes you're left with those stinky fumes. You have to work in uh, your garage or something or work right by an open window, but not at all with Treasure Gold. Um, there's really no smell, totally non-toxic, water-based, great for all ages, and you are left with like a magnificent metallic sheen. I mean, just look at that. So that's what we're using to paint the lid of our mason jar. And we're just gonna, in one continuous brush, uh, brush stroke, mark the lid of our mason jar here. And look at that, that is just one coat and look how shiny it is already. It's like it wows me every single time I use it. That's just one coat, you guys saw it. So, so beautiful. Um, so I just want to walk you guys through how I achieved the rest of our sign today. So of course I painted the liquid in our bat's breath with that beautiful lime tree. Um, the bubbles that live in the liquid of our spell jar here, I painted with Apple Barrel New Shamrock, really great medium green color. Um, I went ahead and filled in the label of our spell jar with light lavender, another really, really pretty Apple Barrel color. Taking a smaller flat brush, I just created a line around the edge of our label with Apple Barrel Purple Iris. Um, and if you don't feel that confident with your handwriting, don't worry. You can totally um, you know, print out a font that you like um, from your computer. You can transfer it to your Surface and then copy it in um, after you're done with that. Go over it with some paint um, so you have a really beautiful text. Or you could use some stencils, whatever you feel comfortable use, using uh, would work great for this. Um, we painted the uh, glass part of our mason jar with Apple Barrel Cloudless. And then we are left with a super, super cute um, Halloween sign just in time for fall. So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, painting along with me. If you were inspired by some of the projects that we showed in the beginning of our live stream today, then make sure you're following us on uh, YouTube, on Instagram, on Facebook, on TikTok. Uh, we have a lot of really great fall and Halloween content ready for you guys to hopefully inspire you this season. Um, so make sure you're following us on those social platforms. We love having you guys here. Um, for all of the stuff we talked about, you can go to platonline.com. So thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.